Um, and road construction projects are certainly an everyday thing in Corpus Christi, causing drivers countless headaches as we all learn to navigate new detours set up around town. But some hope on the horizon. Construction crews tonight reaching a new milestone in the ongoing SPID ramp reversal project. However, as our Brian Burns explains, the headaches could continue at least for a little while longer. With traffic actually coming through, I think it's a good opportunity for businesses to come out and actually rally. I mean, they have a captured audience that is at a standstill. It's definitely a great opportunity. It will help a lot, I think, because, I mean, it's, it's always the traffic is bad over here. So hopefully it, they finish soon, and I think it's going to be good. Drivers reacting to another phase in the four-year ramp reversal project along SPID. We're going to enter a new major milestone to work in that area and that will be the reversing of the ramps between Weber and Everhart Roads eastbound. The State Highway 358 ramp reversal project began in 2018 and is expected to be completed next year. The $50 million project is moving entrance and exit ramps onto SPID further away from major intersections to cut down on traffic delays and traffic backups onto South Padre Island Drive. Ricky Daly with Textot says the ramps are being closed tonight, but there will be another way for access. The important thing for drivers to be aware of is that the Everhart exit ramp will close at 9 p.m. tonight, and the Weber entrance ramp eastbound will close at 6 p.m. tonight, and there will be a new temporary ramp between Weber and Everhart eastbound and it will open at 6 a.m. in the morning. This is a map showing the work starting now and how it may limit traffic flow for the next two months. District 3 Council Member Roland Barretta says while it may be painful now for drivers, it will ease a constantly congested stretch of highway. It's inconvenient in the short term. In the long run, uh, it's going to be better off for us and, and, and it'll be better for the businesses along the expressway so that way individuals can get in and out uh, much quicker than what they're used to doing right now. Despite the coming improvements, the best advice from TxDOT is to avoid the area the next two months. Brian Burns, 3 News.